What's going on guys, CJ Scrubs here and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your PS4 controller on Windows. With that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go to a website that I'll provide in the link in the description below called DS4 Windows. Once you've done that, you're going to click on the green download button and it will take you to this website where you're going to download the zip file. Click on the zip file, download it, and then drag it to your desktop. So once you've done that, you're going to extract the files from the zip file. Right click it, extract the DS4 Windows, and there should be a folder in your desktop. Double click it, then there's going to be two exe files. Click on the last one. Around here there should be something that says app data or program files, pick either or. And once you've done that, you're going to go away from the screen and click on controller, and then plug your controller in via USB cable, and then this should pop up. If nothing pops up, then restart the program. And if for whatever reason it doesn't pop up, go to your settings. Then go all the way down to driver set. You're gonna have to run as administrator for this or click yes. Then once you've done that, click on the first step. And if you're on Windows 7, click on the second step. But that's only if it doesn't work the first time. Then once you've done with that, you're gonna go to the controller and then you're going to go to edit this is where everything is already mapped to um, emulate the xbox 360 controller you can change things if you want to and you can give it a name for your profile so i'm going to put it as cg scrubs and i'm going to save it right about here you should be pretty much done but you shouldn't close the program at all if you're going to use the PS4 controller, minimize it always so it can actually register. And if you ever want to use Bluetooth, go to your settings and click on controller driver setup. Click on Mr. Rights, click yes, you know, and then go all the way down to the Bluetooth settings. Then your Bluetooth settings on your computer should open up depending on what windows you're on. Turn on your Bluetooth. What you're going to need is either a Bluetooth dongle or a Bluetooth driver in your computer. Once you have that set up, we can actually do this. For the PS4 to register on the computer, hold the middle button and the share button at the same time until it flashes white multiple times. And then once that's done, it should show up on your PC. And then you can click on, click on it and then click connect. And if it gives you some sort of passcode type thing, just put in 0000, and then it should be paired. Then double check the program to see that if it's connected. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.